Hello, here's a quick little video. For those who are new to the Commodore 64 world, you may have noticed that when you turn on the machine it comes up with sort of this double blue. Well, if you want to change the background and the screen color, there is a poke. Wait. Oops. And a poke, what it does is it puts a particular value in a certain location. So if I want the outside border to be black, I would put in poke53280, comma zero. And then I would hit enter. You can also do this in a program if you like. Now, using the magnificent um, editing skills on the Commodore 64, I can just move back up here and I can put a 1 here. Poke 53281, comma, 0. And guess what? The screen color is now black. Oops. Now, now I've just also changed the cursor color. That was a whole other thing. I press the control key and the I can't, you know what? I'm in the dark, so I can't see what I did. Maybe I will change this now to one. Oh yes, that's white. And well, I can't really see what. Oh, I've done to twelve. That's gray. That's not so great. And the, you know what? As Commodore said way back at the beginning, some color combinations just don't look good. So. To summarize, oops, if you, and you can do this within a program, 5, 3, 2, 8, 0, comma, 0, oops, has to be a comma, or poke, 5, 3, 2, 8, 1, comma, zero, and of course this number can be anywhere from 1 to 255, and if I'm going to hit enter, then the screen is going to turn black. Ha ha! And as I said, you can put this in a program, and oftentimes it is most advisable, if you are going to write a program, that one of the first things you do is decide what screen color you want, what background color you want, and set them so that any time the program is run, it will automatically go to that. So, that is all for today. Thanks for coming. Bye for now.